Hello, welcome to a tried midweek special. Woo! Ironically, uh, this video is not going to be too special. I don't know. I really wanted to make a video on Rorim here by Shoxidian. Very, very cool, insane demon. I've put quite a few attempts into it. So, okay, not that many. <laughs> Only 500, really? I do have a copy ball. Hang on. Okay, like 800 into that one, yeah. But I wanted to beat this for a video just as an extra video in the middle of the week, you know? I don't know. Kind of want to do this from time to time. Anyway, this is Rorim by Shoxidian. Very, very cool level. Probably one of my favorite insane demons. I've ever played so far. Might change if I die to like 90% a bunch of times, but we'll, we'll see how we go. It's got a couple like cool UFO jewels. You don't see asymmetrical UFO jewels. Or I guess UFO jewels in general that often, right? That black orb gets me, and those two blue orbs get me as well sometimes, but I, eh, I'm getting a lot better with them anyway. This ship part's really dodgy, and then this part is impossible. Oh my god, I passed it. Let's go. Oh, bro, that ship's not even hard. I died there. Something else interesting to note with this level, if you look at the name and you kind of flip it around backwards, you might notice something. Yes, yeah, so the main gimmick of this level is essentially if you want to get the coins, you have to kind of go down here and then, oh, mirror portal time. And then it says mirror. Oh my God. So I know like the mirror portal is the main like gimmick of this level and stuff. It's like the main thing about it, but um, I'm not beating it with the coins. <laughs> Bugger that, bro. Mirror portals make me sick. I, I don't want to, I don't want to like experience that and I don't want to put you guys through that either. Yeah, actually, you know what? That's the reason. That's why I don't want to do it is because I, I don't want to ruin the viewing experience, you know? Retention already dropped by 70% when I went through that mirror portal. I can't afford to have that be the whole video, dude. I, I can't do it. Yeah, I was kind of streaming this morning and aimbotter was in chat being like, bro, that's the whole point of the level. You have to, but no, I'm not doing it. I refuse. Oh, dude, that part's so weird because you, you see this, right? You think, oh, the hitbox must cut off there. No, it goes all the way here for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of annoying, but it's fine. It's fine. God, I love this level so much. I, I love how it looks, how it plays. It, it's it's pretty fun, actually. Might do a quick practice run just because I do want to practice the end a little bit as well. But like just the colors used and stuff is so awesome. I've been trying to like get a lot better with using colors in GD recently, like in my levels and whatnot. I made something that like incorporated some different colors than I've ever used before. And I was very proud of that. Probably like some of my favorite decoration I've ever made. But yeah, I don't know. I, I still have a long way to go. Like the colors in this level are so good. They're so funky and they always work. I don't know, man. I don't know how he does it. This dash all part's super weird. You gotta like, it's kind of like just consistent clicks and then one, two, one, two, and then it's more consistent again. It's like, it's not too bad, but it takes a little bit to wrap your head around. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and then you have this jewel. I still don't fully know how this works. I'm not even gonna lie, but like it does. So I'm just gonna keep hoping it works. Oh, dude. Dude, I love UFOs like this. This UFO is so awesome. Something about just portal spam and UFOs is just so awesome, dude. I love it so much. This robot part, on the other hand, took me quite a while to wrap my head around, but I got there in the end. And then we just got the slow bit to end it off. And now we have the part that took me so long to work out because if you just continue as UFO here, you just die. And I was like, literally, where do I go, bro? Anyway, I eventually worked it out. You need to like go up here and then fall down there. Dude, it, that took me like 20 minutes to work out. I'm actually embarrassed to admit. But then from there, it's just some more memory stuff. And then something evil right there. But I tend to not die there super often from runs. So hopefully we'll be fine. I don't know. I think I'll be right. I might do a quick run from like, yeah, let's go from this UFO to 100. That's like, yeah, 67 to 100. Let's do it real quick. You can never over practice the end of a level, I say. Never. No matter how easy it is. I always tend to die at the end of easy levels because I don't practice them enough. Happens all the time, dude. So better get the extra practice in, you know? Something I was talking about this like earlier today on stream, but something I like, I think I'm biased towards a little bit is levels that feel like Geometry Dash feel. Or Geometry Dash themed, I guess. Like, this feels like a very Geometry Dash themed level to me. Like, you look at this and you're like, yeah, this is GD. You look at a level like Change of Scene by Blee, that does not look like a GD level. That looks like an art masterpiece. Which, don't get me wrong, I think it's like a really, really cool looking level. But it, it's not Geometry Dash themed. And just levels like this, I just, oh man, that kind of came off funny. But no, I, I, I just, I look at this level and I'm like, it looks so awesome. I think it's part of why I love Toe 3 so much as well. And it's the theme I'm really trying to capture in the gimmick level as well. Like, that's what I really want to go for is like this GD themed level. <laughs> bro, come on. I cannot do this run. All of a sudden, it's just like, no, it's impossible, bro. It's not going to happen, which is an indication I need to practice it more because I don't want to, I'd rather die here in a run than die here from zero, you know?
Nice. Okay. Hell yeah. Got the run finally. All right. Let's go from zero again. I don't think this will take me too much longer now. I mean, I did literally get 78 already. So that's already a pretty good sign. Like I'm kind of struggling with this. It is an insane demon, I guess. Insane demons are kind of hard. But I don't know. Like the gameplay is very funky, right? It's got very funky gameplay. Very different to a lot of other levels, which I think is really awesome. But it just adds that extra little layer of difficulty to it, you know? No, dude! Remember how I said that ball part just kind of works? Yeah, it does that, like, sometimes. <laughs> I don't know what I did wrong there, dude. I'm just gonna, like, try it again and hope that next time I get there, I, like, actually do it. <laughs> you know, something I've always liked about Shock City and Star, which I notice he kind of does a decent bit, are these, like, it almost, like, I don't know how to describe it, but there's just something very uniquely Shock city about, like, the air deco, I guess. You see, like, the blocks that are, like, just kind of there in the background, right, but aren't as a custom background. I don't know, it feels very built up, which I've always really, really liked about Shock City and Star, you know? You know what? I kind of want to, like, I'm pretty sure that is a Shock City and thing, right? Like, I'm not going insane. Yeah, yeah. Like, you kind of see how it's, like, I don't know. It's not like the block design is on its own. It's like there's something built into the background that is kind of coming out of the block design, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but like this is a completely empty part if it weren't for these like structures in the middle that are like not solid. I don't know, man. It's just something really cool about it. I just like it. <laughs> Bro, god damn. Okay, I kind of fluked that, I'm not gonna lie. I've been recording for 20 minutes total. That's, um, wow. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, roaring by Shock City and done then, I guess. 642 attempts. But of course, we need to add the attempts from the copyable. Here it is. 1,451 attempts. Okay, so not too bad. I probably should have started recording this video earlier, but, um, I don't know. I really, I was really enjoying playing this level. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I just couldn't put it down. Like, I just, I don't know, man. When it was at a time where I couldn't really record is when I really wanted to play this. So, I don't know. I just played it. Really, really fun level. Probably one of my favorite insane demons, I'm not gonna lie. And it is my 65th insane demon. Nice. Okay, we've beaten quite a few here now. I don't know, I've been uploading a lot of, like, insane demon completions to my second, or I guess kind of third channel, uh, by Death Bear. Uh, recently, I uploaded Blurred Face, which is another insane demon I beat. Very, very cool level. Very strange level, but, um, really, I don't know, it was kind of inconsistent, but I, I, I don't know, I enjoyed it. But, uh, yeah, anyway, for now, I'm going to go ahead I'm going to end this video off here. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed. Huge thank you to all the members, as always, especially Cool Guy. Really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.